Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51 second round match between Nooms and his Broken Elves, uh, which are Wood Elves, and God War with the most violent, well, the most bashy team in Blood Bowl, Humans. Humans actually quite a good uh, matchup against Broken Elves, and they are broken because they've got a wizard and they've got two journeymen. So they're broken in terms of getting beaten up and broken in terms of having a wizard, so that's nice, isn't it? I mean, it's not. I wouldn't say the Games Workshop are bad at balancing. Who knows? They've never tried it. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, this is not such a bashy team without Mighty Blow. Um, yeah, a couple of tacklers. Oh, it's a pretty trash human team, isn't it? Normally, humans quite scary for Wood Elves, but this is unspectacular human team. Instant. Instant root. Funny, isn't it? I would, I would have thought putting the tree on the ogre would, was the play because you know your tree dominates the ogre. Strength five versus strength six. You could just leave them stuck on there, and there's not much you can do. Very interesting. That's simply not true, daily though. That really isn't true. That that's giving them entirely too much credit. Also, it's giving the rules too much credit. The rules don't affect sales. Dreadnoughts have always been one of the highest selling units ever, and they've uh... oh wow, and they've never been good. And buffing them didn't make them sell more. People buy models because they look cool mostly. Well, there you go. That was a horrible blitz, wasn't it? I mean, horribly rolled, like it wasn't a bad decision, just a horrible outcome. Hello, Tom Schnees. Hover over the human rerolls. Wait, well, doesn't have an apple? What the hell? Jesus. Not what I would have done. <laughs> but who can say if it's good or bad? I mean, it's bad. It's very, very bad. It's very, very, very bad to not have an apple. <laughs> no apple humans, Tomshin is. Woodies have got an apple. Boy, howdy! Oh wow, stupid ogre. That is probably why he has no mighty blow. Yeah, and a rookie, a rookie line, a rookie blitzer here. Oh yeah, maybe he denied the wizard that Woody's got. Yeah, who knows? Maybe there was some pre-match shenanigans of like sacking a wizard and then sacking a skilled-up player and stuff, and then. But then, if you're the humans, you, you you would sack more, wouldn't you? You would sack your you would sack this dirty player wrestle. You would definitely keep cutting. <laughs> well, Steve loves beer. If you can think of anything to spend them on, then I'm open to suggestions. I mean, there's denominations between a thousand and fifteen hundred. There's just nothing to spend them on. <laughs> uh, that's not happening, Steve. Yeah, exactly. You fire the bench. Like you're definitely firing the bench. Wow, dub skulls. That's sack this guy. This guy's rubbish. <laughs> Hmm. This is a weird one, isn't it, here? It's turning into an elf stall. Which is something I don't like to do. Really nice uh, catcher though, isn't it? Sprint to your feet. Move nine. Very nice. 
Only one dancer? So the bo both teams are pretty rubbish, actually. <laughs> I don't think either are destined for greatness. Nope, Cornite, they aren't. I can't remember the last time I played Blood Bowl. Oh, it was in uh, it was in SFL. I'll tell a lie. It was in SFL against Fault Force and neither of us played Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the Art Commission is worth it, except it will only happen after, you know, multiple years. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, there is that. And I don't know if the draw's been made in the SFL playoffs yet. Call me. I would have liked to have uh, blitzed this guy onto the tree, get the tree doing something. I will play Tom, yeah. I got diced. I got diced by uh, by J5 failing to beat Trends team coached by Bezel. Um, because I would have much, much, much rather be playing the Chaos team without Claw Palm than a Wood Elf team that can wreck all of my uh, skinks. Fanny and Elf team, yeah, what is with all these elves? It's the year of the elf, isn't it? How old are they going to be? <laughs> Crippled Woody's team. God was specially apparently his rubbish human teams. <laughs> I've seen him a few times in the cup with rubbish human teams. <laughs> it's a strange niche, isn't it? <laughs> crap teams from a crap race. <laughs> but there you go. Seems to be what he likes the most. Flings will never win Chalice Daily. They've got less chance than heart than the Amazons. I couldn't see from speak English then. Less chance than Zons. Glorious. Well, they have got the semis no, before, I won't they, which give I don't think Zons have. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Oh. I will defend. Hello and Happy New Year. Thinking of all the ball sacks for the new season. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, HTK. Oh, tackle. Staying fantastic for 29 glorious months. <laughs> Imagine if that had been a double one. Or that one. So there you go. So two game losing double ones uh, could have been rolled there. That's all you can do, isn't it? Against elves is like that. That's why you know people like to base a lot, and but basing a lot doesn't really matter because a lot of the one in thirty sixes don't matter. But like the the critical ones are the ones that you know. And there was two there, two one in thirty sixes there that would have been horrendous. But a great turn there from Nooms. And now all of a sudden, all of God War's players are behind the ball. And they can blitz this guy to get back, but it's uh, it's really rough. Really rough now. That looked to be a, a drive winning turn. But you never know. Humans are fast, so maybe you can get back and do something. But it really sucks not having Mighty Blow Tackle, isn't it? Like, one of the key things of humans is move seven, Mighty Blow Tackle, isn't it? And a bunch of guard. And they, they, you know, they've got, they basically, they beat up the uh, the woodies as much as orcs do, but then they're also plus one move on everybody. Or plus two, one or two move on everybody. So, like, it's pretty, pretty sick normally, but uh, this team is just a bit shit. <laughs> Do you uh, surf the blitter here? I wonder if this was like a, a ploy to tempt him into surfing this blitzer and then give him another turn to crush in. He's not falling for it. Hey. 
It is, yeah, yeah. He beat the, <laughs> he beat the, somehow got the win against Goblins. What a, what an incredible result. <laughs> and again, like you know, even then, like he could have come unstuck even against Goblins because his team is just not that good. Well, quite bad actually. Not yet, Tom. Hon, hon, hon. I think that's next. Next up after this one. Horrible, isn't it? All these players so far behind the ball. Just milling around like idiots. <laughs> oh, the AV up lineman. Yeah, I remember the AV up lineman. So he did sack a lot to try and stop the wizard, but obviously he drew the line at his favourite player, which is this dirty player, Wrestle Guy. <laughs> Like maybe maybe uh Nims would have just resacked, so that's why he didn't bother. But I'd have definitely got rid of this loser. <laughs> Personally. But then of course I'd know that if I ever fouled with him he'd get sent off instantly. Oh wow, lovely one D pal. And he gets the sidestepper in there, so he's managed to get a defense. See, that's the thing with the speed of humans, is like, that was so terrible last turn. And then somehow, there's something there. Going for the 1D Blitz, Jesus. Had to be something better than that, didn't there? Goes for the 4 3 2 to score. Outrageous. Outrageous. Broken elves. Disgusting. <laughs> click elf, click end zone. Disgusting. But there is a two turn for humans, and humans are alright at two turns. So, even though this is hardly a human team, like it really is hardly a human team, right? you expect more than two guard, you expect more than zero mighty blow, you expect a mighty blow tackler for sure, like this is a really, really pathetic human team. It's weird, isn't it, Pedro? I really like the breakthrough turn that he did that left loads of players behind, but then I just don't know how he didn't stall it out after that, so maybe he's a bit of a good player from God War, maybe he's a bit of a bad player from... Uh, yeah, both teams are garbage. <laughs> I think we can safely say that neither's going to win Chalice because these teams are terrible um, for Chalice. Like, you know, obviously, they're, they're probably fine for their TV, but you know, in a TV matching environment, totally fine, but when you're coming up against 2,000 TV chaffs, etc., this is, uh, these teams are not going to cut it. Dial's never losing to anyone. That's for sh that's for damn sure. I mean, no, these teams are very unlikely to win Chalice. Of course, anything can happen, but it's very... I mean, these both these teams are really, really crap. But yeah, you know, like, this catcher can win games just by one-turning. 
And even a, even a three normals war dancer is still a war dancer. The humans less in the tank. But you know, they, they managed to beat goblins, so that, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> Can you do you just surf the ball here? No. Like you literally could have just leapt in here, couldn't he, and then surfed the ball like if you'd got this yeah. hook down first. I mean it's dice, isn't it? It's a dice game. It's a dice game, so yes, literally anything can happen. But realistically, it's not going to. <laughs> oh. So we've got the Blitz on the Dancer and then just a 4-3 to score. No, or a 1D. Lovely. That's much better. That was the brainless player. I always like to point out the brainless player first. But this was this is much better, isn't it? Two 1Ds. Two 1Ds and then you walk straight through. Lovely. Lovely play from Godwall. Gets the tutty. Justice. Mind, it's going to be hard to stall out versus Woody's with a wizard. Four, eight, eleven players versus ten. Bad, bad play to be down as well, isn't it? The thrower with tackle. But I mean, he's got the blodge to hold it. Blodge your hands is pretty good against. Uh, I mean, it's not that good because it's got Rackle, <laughs> but at least it counters the strip, eh? But it's usually a good ball carrier, so like, this is really his ball carrier, isn't it? But I mean, being down a block tackle versus Woody really sucks. Especially when your blitzers are terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible blitzers. My god. A blitz, oh god. Well... Randomly a good setup against it. Hey. Yeah, I can't really can't really do anything. Maybe he should have made a more aggressive setup in case of a blitz. I like this setup, the edge four to give two two Ds and then dodge off. Safe moves first, lovely. He knows he's got plenty of time as well this half, hasn't he? There's no need to uh, no need to get moving up the field. But also we really don't want to get split in half. It's the biggest thing. So while this row is kind of good, if you let them get their whole team in here, you're in a world of hurt. And this guy's looking like a weak link, so it all depends on dodging this guy down to here. No, oh, I hate that. Hate that, I'm definitely going to be... Oh, I mean, that just completely exposes the team, doesn't it? Because this guy's there as well. Yeah, the, uh, that blitz had to be here or here, I think. 
Definitely going to go for the team split now. I mean, it's, it's automatic, in fact. He's not going for the team split. Well, I hate this. I hate this from Nunes. My whole team would have been here. And then Bolton score next turn. So I do not like that from Nunes. But you know, maybe he thinks he's that far ahead with a wizard as well. You know, that's there's a bit there's an element of risk, isn't it, if you split the team. You get collapsed in from both sides, take a bunch of hits, things can go wrong. This is just kind of safer. Make make the make the humans, you know, cage up, go down the field, and then as long as you stay in front of them, you let them do something desperate and then that's when you pull out the whiz. So it's not it's certainly not wrong of Nooms, it's just more conservative and you know, who's to say if it's right or wrong. I think that's definitely the right play if, like, you know, he has Kadenik's team. Because um, it's minimising attrition a lot more. But, I mean, his team isn't very good itself, so I, I feel like a ballsier play would have been better. But just my opinion. Even GFI need to get disconnected more. It's really weird. Uh, okay, now you, ha now you have to go in here. Like you have to go in here now. You have to, don't you? Oh, brutal take root. He's not going for it. He's not going for it. I really like going for it. This is so unrowdy. This is like less rowdy than Elliot. <laughs> this is how unrowdy this is. Less rowdy than Elliot. Outrageous. <laughs> My God, that's just begging. That's just begging to get surrounded and bolted and scored on, isn't it? But this this could well be better, you know. This could this could well be better, you know, just play it safe. Don't push anything, don't risk anything. Wait for the humans to come on here and then uh, when they get desperate and they try to push through, that's when you that's when you pounce. So like it's it's not necessarily wrong, it's just it just seems a bit boring more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh god PC <laughs> I mean they'd definitely be correct if they said if they spelled out BB is wank. But no I think it's not about <laughs> no one complain. I do. I don't think it's necessarily wrong. Like why? Like you know, he, he's putting his neck on the chopping block a little bit, isn't? He, if he goes in, like I would have done, and I think it's correct to have intersected the team on any of these previous four turns. But now he's lost the opportunity. Now hasn't. He? So now he's just. Uh, now we'll see some actual turns of blood ball. Whew. Oh lordy. See, look there, the first time he gets hit, he gets cast. He's like thinking to himself, oh, I'm glad I didn't put loads of players in the way and tag anyone. 
I would have got everyone injured. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, PC. Oh, look, here's the handoff. See? Like, imagine if he'd failed that handoff. Then, Numas would have looked like he'd done the right thing, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> that one in, if that one in nine chance had happened. He did, I mean, why not? There's no mighty blow on the uh, human team part. Is he going to score? Alright, that's mental. I guess it gets past the wizard. And now you're 50 50 to win, aren't you? win the toss. Well, not really. <laughs> but you're close to 50-50 to win if you get the toss. Yeah, I'd have much preferred it if there were no dice involved, you know, if it was just literally run it in, no GFIs. But I guess he was really scared of the wizard here. So... Yeah, but again, you can circumvent the wizard again like he did that turn, can you? So, really weird play from both players, <laughs> if you ask me. A very strange match altogether. Not how I would have played it from either side. But, you know, nowadays I appreciate more just taking the score in these situations after I got done by the Adj 5 and Adj 6 gave him with a wizard. In Chalice and all that. I feel like I should have banged it in earlier in that game. Because getting turned over with a wizard and scored on is like the worst, isn't it? It's the worst possible outcome. And at least you avoid that if you bang it in early. So. Again, he doesn't put the tree on the uh, ogre. I love putting the tree on the ogre. Like, I actually love it. Like, that's to me, that's the best trade you can make with the tree. Oh, 3D, the guy. I didn't even 3D. So, yeah, it's almost certainly going to be 2-2, two, two, and then overtime. But yeah, that's true, you would keep the uh, wizard. But again, you can try and just move past the wizard with your move 9. GFIs. What a strange game. Making him do a Thomas T sidestep there. Doesn't reroll, gets cast. Classic. I feel like just staying there was all right, you know, just staying in the way and able to stand up later on dodging off tackle. But obviously, easy to say that after it fails. But like, even the one in nine is, is it's not doing that much for you, right? And a one in three, and it is armor eight though. It's like it wasn't lucky to get cast. But I don't feel like the dodge back does a lot. A lot. And maybe he's going to put him over here. One, two, three, four, five, and show that up. Hmm. Really nice tree spot. So yeah, maybe, maybe that's it. Nooms just wanted to use his tree offensively and, you know, not dominating the ogre. While it's a good trade, 
it's just a trade, isn't it? Whereas this way he's three for oneing. He's three for oneing uh, God of War with this. Surely the tree's going to get hit. The twat magnet. <laughs> Ogre bats him. And gets in there. Yeah, lovely spot for the ogre. Three stairs down. Oof. I bet he wanted to re roll that. But I don't think it's correct to. Just one of those where you want to, but like, you know that you shouldn't, because it's not really affecting that much, right? He gets to move to this other side anyway. You can even get in scoring range here if he wants. I'm not gonna. But like, it's so easy to get into scoring range with this fella. <laughs> Setting up the lawn of pass. Oof! I didn't like. I didn't like this spot here. I would have rather gone out there with the first one, so that. Because like it doesn't really matter if this is weaker, but you really want to hold this so you can go either either side. You've only got to be like one square over the sideline, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? You've only got to be one square into his half. So you really want to be able to go to either side. I wouldn't have even had him here. I'd have had him one, one further. Like, it's really hard to stop this Wood Elf team from scoring, isn't it? Or really any Wood Elf team from scoring. Especially if you're not going to get up in their face, which he just hasn't at all. So he just has to get over the LOS. What the hell? A, G a double GFI 1D. And another GFI. And another GFI. Not what I would have done. These GFIs aren't as bad. This was... Weird. But it's worked. <laughs> it's worked and therefore was correct. Yeah, way too much over this side, I guess, for God War. Looks like now, doesn't it? This is Charlie's, yeah, Jerry. It's weird, isn't it? It's been a weird, a weird game. Like two rubbish teams, you know, and then the Wood Elves not really wanting to defend, and then the humans not really being able to just because the team's so rubbish. And then scoring early. I don't think they played terribly, Jerry. I'm I'm not ready to uh, I'm not ready to PC them here. I thought that was I I think it's not necessarily terrible. Right, so you can two D and then three three two. 
is the is the brainless play, isn't it? Could also hand off to this guy probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Could just hand off to this guy. Well, wow, re-rolls, pushes. What is going on? Like, if you're going to blitz him, don't you just blitz him from here and then go and hand off? Okay, this is pretty inexplicable. This seems terrible this turn. Like, it was just adding a 2+. plus. Why use your team re-roll there? Oh, I guess because he's got sprint sure feet, and he could just get there anyway. He didn't need to do a hand off. He could just get there himself because he's moved. <laughs> he's movement twelve. That was really weird. I hate that reroll. I really hate that. Re well, there we go. Overtime. Is that the Woodies? Well, good luck, Godwell. <laughs> Woody's with a wizard that can score any time they want. With a movement 12 player. G flipping G. Yeah, that's the thing. D to D, yeah. Like, God War's been very limited by how absolutely shit his team is. The Woodies have got a shit team, but they're still Woodies. <laughs> it's the thing. <laughs> They're still woodies. Like, and as rubbish as this guy is, he's still moved 12, isn't he? Basically. And as rubbish as this guy is, he's still a dancer. But there's only eight. No, nine, nine elves. Well, eight elves in a tree. And still full of eleven humans. A huge KO roll, actually. Defending against a blitz. Not greatly, but then he hasn't got many players, so it's not it's not easy to perfectly do it, is it? I mean, I still think I'd have had them actually covering the sideline. Right. Oof. One in 36 is from disaster here. Like, how bad is this dub score? Like, Protect the ball first. You can make safe moves. Do all these roll do all these moves first before you make that block. And also move this guy one across so it's actually a cage. <laughs> Defending the ball is um, super easy. Falls. That was really weird. Man. I don't know. Yeah, like this guy can just be one across. Like he's not doing anything super good being there instead of there, is he? So wrestle hit on the ball. Unbelievable, Jeff. Gets it. Okay, it's not led to anything because humans are shit, but. If the tree stays down, then uh, he might be in a little bit of a pickle next turn. Wow, well, I hate just standing up for him there. But I guess there's not much. I mean, he could have stood up and dodged, couldn't he? But it adds a 1 in 36, but then at least you've got something afterwards. All these dice rolls without standing the tree up. Wonderful. Man, this is this is poor. This is absolutely poor for me. 
No offence. But this is like actively poor at this point. There was some good, you know, like there were pros and cons to the, to the, he didn't even stand him up. He didn't even. Okay. I guess he ran out of time. I guess he ran out of time. It's the only, the only thing you can say, isn't it? Playoff nerves. Getting to hit this catch is amazing now, isn't it? Doing that hit all day. Well, I think that's very good news for Elliot Lod. <laughs> Elliot Lod. player available. Is he going to get anyone forward? I quite like this guy getting forward, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do something. Pelanties. He didn't stand up the didn't stand up the tree again. Maybe he ran out of time again. Glorious Ogre Blitz into cars. Oh, he did try it, failed. Okay. Well, then I would have put him there to make it not easy. To, like, since you've got an Ogre there and you've got a guy back, why doesn't he go in there? This is very confusing. Here's the bolt. Because you still need to roll a pal. This is bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. Why? Like, literally, all you have to do is get this geezer one square into your opponent's half, and then you score next turn. <laughs> I don't know how he's managed to not just keep going backwards and not do anything for the whole half. Maybe God Wars played it great? It's a stall. Yes, yeah, stalling when you don't have to. Hmm. Yeah, that was a real terrible whiz. Like, you had to roll a pow afterwards. It's... You know, like, I didn't call how Nooms def didn't defend not shit and wrong, because there really was, you know, arguments for, for it. But uh, I think this is shit and wrong. That was a lovely chain, wasn't it? And he's not forcing him forward, he's forcing him to lose the bottle. If he rolls better. No. Didn't re roll it, I think that's fair. Oh, look, he could have bolted this turn, it would have been better than last turn. I mean, he's still got plenty of time, and all he has to do is just literally get this catcher into range, and it's done. So, the odds are stacked in Nooms' favour, to be fair. There 
there we go, he's one over the, well, two over the OS. Three over the OS. Well now, I mean, now he just gets hammered by this, <laughs> by this tackler. Is he going for the ball? He's not punching you. It's not what I would have done. Man, I really, I really like just hitting this guy instantly. He's 2 ding the ball instead, hoping for a pow. Use his last reroll. <sighs> Not what I would have done. <laughs> like, there's no recovery even if he powers in. What the fuck? Oh, God. Now blitz here and run up there. Oof. Doesn't punch him, mad lad. Roll four hundred dice and then finally attempt to stand the tree up. Just instantly 2 d the ball. <laughs> Almost instantly 2 d the ball. This looks like it could be kicks, doesn't it? This guy's no longer a threat, is he? Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, five, so. Oh god. He rolled a one. GG. Absolutely bizarre game. Morning dice before moving the ball up. My dude. <laughs> dude. One in thirty six, he just loses, doesn't he? Well, not loses, but just doesn't win. Three two two to two D the ball with tackle. I mean I don't think it matters. Two two with the with wrestle. Yeah, two two with wrestle. So he can dodge through and then he can two two with wrestle. So yeah, one back is, is better I guess. Two GFIs, two D. Gets the wrestle. 
And it doesn't really matter because he's elves, but hey, woo! I guess he can get two tackle zones on the ball. No, he do dodges in to get it, fair enough, because two tackle zones on it is shit. Oh! <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That was pretty lucky. He re-rolls it. He doesn't have doesn't have sure hands, does he? Should he have re-rolled that? Oh wow! What a <laughs> what a sidestep and bounce! Like he's got strip. He doesn't got. Why did he? He shouldn't have re-rolled it, should he? He should not have re-rolled that. This guy can just go and get it though. Oh, fails the catch. The Kekwudi's gone. Oh my god. And the humans have a chance to win it in normal time. Hello, tree. Gets the pow. Oh my god. Humans. Blitz him off here. That's got to be the best. Block him off. Blitz him off. And then, like, pass it. I'll surf him. I guess that's better now without the power. Without knocking him down, I guess that blitz is better. Oh, what's this? I was going to hand it off to him and then dodge in the end zone and pass it in the end zone, I guess. Flip me. Penalties. Penalties, as uh, <laughs> Robbie Savage would say. We're not going to see them, though. Because Sign I don't know how to make video games. There we go. Woody Scott. And there's no this this could be an instant miss. The Orga throws it, that's cheating. It's absolute cheating. What else? I mean, dancers aren't going to miss, are they ever? It's just not possible. How unfair would it be, like, going up against a wood elf, like a, a war dancer doing anything? <laughs> it's literally, it's like, never miss a penalty, ever. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. A tree was not going to score, is he? Oh, he doesn't! <laughs> Well, that means that the humans might score, seeing as they have to. And they do! <laughs> let the fucking tree... Tree doing his best Gareth Southgate impression. You wouldn't let a tree take a kick, would you? Jesus Christ. That's terrible. That, that was just terrible coaching there from Newman's. Do not let the tree man take a penalty kick. You know, that's just... Just bad. And also, the game's broken. Okay. Amazing. What a <laughs> what a piece of crap. <laughs> right. Um Well there you go. That was that was a that was a game of Blood Bowl, wasn't it? That was a game of Blood Bowl. Um What can you say? Commiserations Nooms, congratulations, God War. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.